Dear family of God, it's so good to be with you and to continue in our study of the Westminster Shorter Catechism. Question 92 today, what is a sacrament? A sacrament is a holy ordinance instituted by Christ, wherein, by sensible signs, Christ and the benefits of the new covenant are represented, sealed, and applied to believers. Sacraments are outward signs of an inward truth. They are visible signs stating and bringing to mind the truth which is taught in Scripture concerning the way of salvation in Jesus Christ. They are also seals that are done by God himself, which confirms the truth of God, just like a seal is put on a letter to prove that it is genuine. They also distinguish us as God's people from the world and give comfort and strength to the believer. I love the use of the word covenant in this answer because we understand that the sacraments come to us in the context of all of Scripture. Uh, that while we know that they were instituted in the New Testament, they have this wonderful backdrop of the, of the covenant and application that God will be our God and we will be our people. The sacraments are so rooted in the Old Testament into the New that it is covenantal. It's a beautiful thing, the relationship that it demonstrates. But to begin with, we see that the sacrament is something that was ordained by Christ himself. We know that before our Lord ascended into heaven, he commanded his believers to make disciples by baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We know also that on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he gave his disciples the sacrament of the Lord's Supper, telling them to do this in remembrance of me. So these are things that Jesus commanded his people to do and to enjoy and to allow the Spirit to work. We also know that they are sensible signs. This means that the sacraments engage our outward senses. When we come to worship, we know that we do so much as we listen and as we speak, it's audible. We speak prayers uh, and confessions. We listen to the sermon uh, and music. Uh, and yet in the sacraments, we get to engage all of our senses. We feel the waters of baptism and see it being poured over recipients. We touch the the wafer and the cup as we hold it in our hands. We can even smell the juice as we draw the cup to our lips. We can taste the elements as we partake. We see the table laid out before us and see our brothers and sisters in Christ participating in one meal as one body in Jesus. We hear the words of institution and the promises of the covenant given to us. It's such a tangible, beauty, beautiful thing of those who have gathered for worship that we fully and faithfully participate in the sacraments. No wonder the worship of Christ Church has often been called a service of word and sacrament. But we also know that, that the catechism tells us they are signs and seals of the new covenant. Again, to say that they're signs is simply to say that the elements of water and wine and bread, they represent something. They are symbols of of Christ and the benefits of the covenant that we enjoy with him. They are visible, visible things that uh, point to this invis invisible reality. About seals, this is something that God himself is doing on our behalf. It is all at his initiative and power. Now, how are the sacraments acting as a seal? Uh, it can be almost like saying to us that they act as a seal of confirmation of the benefits of what we receive in, in faith in Jesus Christ. Just like a seal or a notary stamp confirms a legal document, such as a deed or perhaps a bond, it also confirms our legit, legitimacy and ownership. So as the sacraments confirm the reality of this new covenant, the fact that we are under the ownership of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It is eternal. It is very holy. This is true for those who receive the sacraments in faith. And to receive the sacraments in faith means that we receive them with full dependency upon the invisible reality to which the sacraments point, our faith in Jesus Christ. Given the kindness of our Redeemer, we find it no surprise that God has chosen to communicate his grace and truth to us through our senses. In the sacraments, we have physical means of grace, things we touch and taste for the sake of growing in Christ and understanding the gospel that he seals and applies to our hearts. To God be the glory. Dear family, let us pray. 
Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your love of us that you would give us the sacraments as, as a sign and a seal, the covenant of faithfulness you have towards us in Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, may we be strengthened and encouraged as we faithfully participate in the sacraments uh, in our church covenant family. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Dear family of God, may the Lord bless you and keep you this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen.